Hi, so I'm going to show you how you can use object object statistics to generate statistics that will show you how much overlap is occurring between two different surface objects and also how you can use those surface objects to create mask channels that are specific to a surface that you can then use for any different number of applications. So what I'm looking at right now is in green some microtubules and in red a kinetic core stain and I'm going to try and and determine how much of the kinetic cores is co-localized to the microtubules. So I've already created some microtubule surfaces that is a fair enough representation of the microtubule signal and then a kinetic core surface. The important thing to remember with both of these options is that you need to have object object statistics enabled. So you can enable object object statistics in the first step of the creation wizard just by checking this box or after a surface or spots object has already been created, you can enable this option in this in the edit tab, the little pencil icon and make sure the box here is checked for object object statistics. This needs to be done for any surface objects that you want to compare to each other or spots objects. This feature is not available for cells. So just make sure that you have this um, turned on for any of the surpass objects that you want to compare. And once these uh, object object statistics are enabled, you can then go to the statistics tab, select detailed, and then there's a bunch of different object object statistics that you can look at and have generated. So if I just go to the detailed tab, um, specific values, there are a few different options. We can look at the shortest distance to surfaces on the microtubule surface. And so then anything that is zero microns or less will be touching or within whatever surface that I'm comparing it to. In this situation, it's a microtubule surface. So just remember, zero microns or less means that it's touching or within the surface that it's being compared to. You can also do this with a spots object here. You can see that there's a previously created spots object for the kinetic course also. Then the other statistic of interest for object object statistics for surfaces is looking at the overlapped volume comparing it to the surface object. So this will give you an output in microns cubed of how much of an exa this example, the kinetic core surface is co-localized or overlapping with the microtubule surface. And you um, can label these objects if you would like to, you know, filter and then label them or do it in the classification step within the creation wizard or even in batch processing. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this statistic. There's another really similar statistic to this one, which is the overlap volume ratio to surfaces. This one will actually compare the volume of the microtubule surface to the volume of the kinetic core surface and how much is overlapping between those two nearest objects and give you an actual ratio of that overlap. And so more information about all of these statistics can be found by selecting help, statistics reference, a new window will pop up. You'll then select surfaces and then you can go and do a search or just scroll down to find the object object statistics. And so then you can see like what the definition is for those and how they're actually calculated. And so that's, that's how you can generate these statistics. But we also have another option to use a mask channel. So for this one, I'm going to go to the microtubules uh, surface. And you can do this the opposite way too. It just depends on what you want your resulting channel to be. So if I go to the microtubules channel or microtubule surface, I'm going to create a new mask channel that is specific to how much of my red kinetic core signal is within this microtubule surface. So if I go again to the edit icon, the pencil icon, select mask all, and have my channel selection be the kinetic cores. I'm going to leave these default values in here 
And what I want to do is set the voxel intensity outside the surface to zero and leave this box unchecked. So this will leave the voxel intensity inside the surface alone. And so if I then turn off my microtubules, turn off the kinetic cores, and now I have this mass kinetic core channel that is specific to only the, the red channel that was within that microtubule surface. I can then use this new mass kinetic core channel as an input to create new surface objects or spots objects. I can also do the opposite and go to this kinetic core surface, go to the edit tab, mask all, but this time select my microtubule surface and set the voxel intensity outside the surface to zero and, so, and leave this box unchecked to maintain that green channel that is within this kinetic core surface. And you can see that's what has been created here. So now I have this new mass channel that I can use as an input for surface creation or object detection in spots or any of the different modules. And you can also use it for statistical output too because now in all the statistics there will be a new option for intensity measurements for any of these mass channels that are in the display adjustment window. So that's just a real brief overview of some things you can do with the object object statistics and then also the mass channels from those different surface objects. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Thanks!